Hi there, curious explorers! Welcome back to Why Does, the channel where we answer your big, fun questions about the world around us. Do you ever wonder why we cry? Maybe you cried when you fell down and got a boo-boo, or when you were super happy, or even when you were cutting onions with someone in the kitchen. But where do those tiny drops of water, tears, actually come from? Let's find out. First, look in the mirror. Can you see your eyes? Right above your eyes, near the outer corners, are special little spots called tear glands. They're also called lacrimal glands, but that's a big word, so let's just call them tear makers. These tear makers are always working, even when you're not crying. They make tears to keep your eyes wet and clean. It's like giving your eyes a little bath all day long. Now, not all tears are the same. Did you know there are three kinds of tears? Let's meet them. 1. Basal tears. These are your everyday tears. They're always there, washing and protecting your eyes from dust or tiny invaders. Think of them like your eye's superhero shield. 2. Reflex tears. These come out fast when something tries to bother your eyes, like smoke, dust, or when you chop onions. These tears are like the fire department, zooming in to wash away the trouble. 3. Emotional tears. These are the ones you make when you're feeling something big, like when you're super sad, really happy, or even scared. Your brain sends a message to your tear makers saying, we need tears, fast. But how do the tears get out of your eyes? Your tear makers squeeze out the tears, and they slide across your eyeball. Then they drain into tiny holes in the corners of your eyes, those little dots near your nose. Some tears get wiped away when you blink. Some roll down your cheek. That's what we call crying. And some go down into your nose, which is why your nose gets sniffly when you cry. Isn't the body amazing? But why do we cry when we're sad or even really happy? Well, scientists think emotional tears help us show how we feel. When we're sad, crying tells others, I need help or a hug. And when we're super happy, tears just come out because our feelings are so big, our body doesn't know what to do except cry. So tears aren't just drops of water. They clean your eyes, protect them, and even help you share your feelings. Next time you cry, remember, your body is doing something really cool. Thanks for learning about tears with me today, little scientists. And remember, it's okay to cry. Everyone does it, even grown-ups, even superheroes. And that's it for today's big question, friends. Wasn't that fun to learn? Science is everywhere, even in the sounds we hear, the colors we see, and the things we play with. If you're curious like us and want to explore more amazing questions, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell so you don't miss our next adventure. Until next time, keep asking why, keep exploring, and remember, science is everywhere, just waiting for you to discover it. Bye-bye for now.